Saya hormati Bapak Prabowo Subianto, Yang Mulia Ibu Maris Payne dan Ibu Linda Reno, rekan-rekan media Ibu dan Bapak yang saya hormati. Merupakan suatu kehormatan bagi Indonesia, bagi Menteri Subianto dan saya sendiri untuk menjadi tuan rumah pertemuan 2 plus 2 yang keenam antara Indonesia dan Australia. Ini adalah pertemuan 2 plus 2 pertama yang dilakukan oleh Indonesia di masa pemerintahan baru. Hal ini menunjukkan kuatnya ikatan hubungan antara Indonesia-Australia dan komitmen untuk terus meningkatkan kerjasama berdasarkan asas kesetaraan, saling menghormati, dan menghormati integritas wilayah negara lain. Di dalam pertemuan tadi, kita kuatkan kembali komitmen kita untuk menghormati dan mengimplementasikan Lombok Treaty. Dari perspektif politik luar negeri, beberapa hal ingin saya sampaikan. Pertama, Indonesia dan Australia adalah mitra untuk terus menjaga perdamaian, stabilitas, dan kemakmuran kawasan. Kita telah memiliki strategic comprehensive partnership dan sepakat untuk segera menyelesaikan plan of action dari kemitraan tersebut. Kedua, Indonesia mengapresiasi dukungan Australia terhadap ASEAN Outlook on the Indo-Pacific dan dukungan Australia terhadap sentralitas ASEAN. Indonesia mengharapkan agar ASEAN Outlook on the Indo-Pacific ini dapat diimplementasikan melalui kerjasama yang konkret dengan kerjasama yang konkret, maka strategic trust akan dapat terjaga. Dalam kaitan ini, Indonesia mengundang Australia untuk berpartisipasi dalam Indo-Pacific Infrastructure and Connectivity Forum yang akan diselenggarakan di Indonesia pada pertengahan 2020. Implementasi Outlook ASEAN on the Indo-Pacific ini juga terus didasarkan pada prinsip dialog, kerjasama, inklusif dan menghormati hukum internasional. Ketiga, Indonesia dan Australia juga sepakat untuk memperkuat kerjasama di Pasifik. Kolaborasi kerjasama ini akan memberikan impact yang lebih besar untuk mengadres tantangan yang dihadapi para sahabat kita di Pasifik. Antara lain, menyangkut isu climate change dan pemberdayaan ekonomi serta perempuan. Keempat, Indonesia Australia memiliki komitmen yang sama untuk menjadikan ekonomi kita ekonomi yang terbuka dan menjalankan kerjasama perdagangan dan investasi yang adil dan saling menguntungkan termasuk pelaksanaan fair and free trade. Dalam kaitan ini, kami melakukan update mengenai proses ratifikasi yang sedang berlangsung baik di Indonesia maupun Australia mengenai Indonesia Australia CEPA Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. Dalam kaitan ini juga, Indonesia mengharapkan komitmen Australia untuk terus melakukan kerjasama sehingga aset dapat ditandatangani pada tahun 2020. Kelima, kami sadar akan munculnya banyak tantangan baru seperti ancaman terorisme, keamanan cyber, dan sepakat untuk terus meningkatkan kerjasama. Keenam, kami sepakat terus melakukan kerjasama di dalam konteks Women, Peace, and Security, termasuk penguatan partisipasi perempuan di dalam misi perdamaian. Ketujuh, Indonesia mengundang Australia untuk hadir dalam konferensi internasional mengenai digital diplomasi yang akan diselenggarakan tahun depan di Indonesia dan ini merupakan kelanjutan dari Regional Conference on Digital Diplomacy yang diselenggarakan tahun ini di Jakarta. 
Selain itu, kita juga melakukan pertukaran pikiran mengenai beberapa isu di kawasan dan isu internasional antara lain terkait dengan uh, Palestina, Afghanistan dan isu Rahim State. Demikian yang dapat saya sampaikan dan dengan hormat saya mengundang Menteri Pertahanan Republik Indonesia untuk menyampaikan pandangannya. Pak Prabowo kami persilakan. Yang Mulia Menteri Pertahanan Menteri Luar Negeri Australia. Yang Mulia Menteri Pertahanan Australia. Yang Mulia Menteri Luar Negeri Republik Indonesia. Saudara-saudara yang saya hormati dan saya banggakan. Dalam pertemuan hari ini, pertama pertemuan antara Menteri Pertahanan yang kita lakukan sebelum pertemuan 2 plus 2, ter, terdapat suatu pembicaraan yang sangat produktif, yang penuh dengan keterbukaan, yang uh, penuh dengan persahabatan di mana uh, kita membahas uh, keadaan hubungan kerjasama antara Indonesia dan Australia dan uh, upaya kita untuk meningkatkan hubungan tersebut secara garis besar uh, hubungannya sangat memuaskan sampai saat ini dan kita mencari bidang-bidang baru, upaya-upaya baru untuk lebih kita pererat dan kita tingkatkan hubungan ini karena memang kita memandang Australia sebagai sahabat penting, sebagai mitra kita uh, tidak bisa memilih kawan uh, kita boleh memilih kawan tapi tidak bisa memilih tetangga karena itu uh, adalah kepentingan kita, kepentingan Indonesia juga untuk memelihara hubungan yang terbaik dengan Australia. Saya kira uh, secara rinci uh, banyak bidang yang kita akan memulai. Uh, TNI diundang untuk ikut serta dalam latihan-latihan uh, lebih banyak di Australia. Kemudian uh, saya juga terima kasih ada ada undangan untuk uh, lebih banyak perwira-perwira kita bahkan juga taruna-taruna kita untuk uh, bisa ikut serta dalam pendidikan di uh, Akademi Militer Australia. Kita juga uh, sepakat untuk kerjasama dalam uh, bidang uh, maritim uh, Australia akan menawarkan kerjasama. Uh, terutama di bidang uh, pertukaran informasi dan intelligence di khususnya menghadapi uh, illegal fishing ya, uh, dan uh, uh, transnasional kejahatan transnasional di perairan di Indonesia kita juga uh, akan membahas kemungkinan untuk pertama kali kita melaksanakan co-deployment dalam peacekeeping operations Uh, untuk PBB jadi ini mungkin sesuatu yang baru yang kita akan uh, rintis, mudah-mudahan kita akan mencapai hal itu saya kira secara garis besar uh, di bidang pertahanan uh, sangat baik, tapi kita ingin untuk lebih baik lagi, terima kasih terima kasih Pak Prabowo sekarang saya mengundang sahabat dekat saya Mary Skin, untuk menyampaikan pandang Thank you very much, uh, Hugo Redno, uh, my friend and colleague, uh, for inviting me here, uh, not only to attend our 2 plus 2 meeting today, but also for your leadership of the Bali Democracy Forum. Uh, and uh, it continues to be a very valuable demonstration of the kind of leadership role that Indonesia plays in the Indo-Pacific uh, and more broadly, and we very much welcome that. It's a real pleasure to be here today with my colleague Linda Reynolds, Australia's Minister for Defence, and uh, to meet today with Minister Ritno uh, Masudi and Minister Prabowo Subianto, Indonesia's new Minister of Defence. This is the sixth 2 plus 2 Foreign and Defence Ministers meeting between Australia and Indonesia. 
The last time we held this meeting, I was Australia's Minister for Defence, and I have a long-standing interest and involvement in these meetings. In fact, Ibu Retnu and I have shared together three of the six meetings. Today's was indeed a very good meeting. It underlined to me again that Indonesia is and always will be a vital strategic partner for Australia. We live side by side in the most dynamic and evolving region in the world, the Indo-Pacific, and our relationship has the potential to do so much for Indonesians and Australians, but also for the region as a whole. Indeed, as two of the largest democracies in our region, Australia and Indonesia have a critical role to play together in promoting stability and prosperity in the Indo-Pacific. Today was a welcome opportunity for us to highlight how our common strategic interests and challenges uh, play together, or interact together, and to discuss how we can work to do just that. Australia welcomes the contribution that Indonesia makes to our regional security architecture and we congratulate Indonesia on their leadership on the adoption of the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific and the very constructive way that we are able to approach shared security challenges. Indeed, since the last time we met in this particular forum, we have really taken our relationship to a new level. In August of last year, we agreed on a comprehensive strategic partnership both a reflection on the depth of our mutual, strategic, economic and people-to-people -people ties and also a commitment to each other that will shape not only our relationship for decades to come but form a common basis for activities as we seek to shape a more secure and prosperous region together. And just as the comprehensive strategic partnership will shape the future of our bilateral relationship, our free trade agreement, the IHEPA, will help build and shape the future of our economic relationship. A significant priority for both my Prime Minister and I know for President Wododo. There is so much room to deepen our trade and investment ties as two of the biggest economies in our region. And we look forward to the entry into force of the IHFR next year. Because we share one of the longest maritime borders in the world, we're natural maritime partners, both through our navies and through enhanced information sharing, and that is something I know Minister Reynolds will have more to say about in a few moments. We continue to work together closely to counter terrorism in all its forms. We co-chair the sub-regional meeting of security ministers. We are close partners in efforts to prevent terrorist and violent extremist exploitation of the internet and radicalization of individuals online. This is a key battleground now, and our efforts to stop that radicalisation, particularly of young people, is important work that we will continue and enhance in doing together. Finally, cyber security is a relatively new area in which we work together to preserve sovereignty, to safeguard our democracies and economies, and it was very good to exchange views on that today. Australia has a very strong view that the rules and laws and norms that apply offline must also apply online. There's much scope for us to work together on cyber security and the digital economy very closely in the years ahead. We look forward very much to hosting early next year the visit to Australia by President Wododo. Another important opportunity to advance our strategic partnership. So thank you again to our colleagues from Indonesia for today's very substantive discussions and I look forward to working with you both to put into action what we have discussed today. Thank you, Terima Kasi. Ibu Linda. Terima Kasi, Ibu, Tambatak, Tambarais. Selamat siang. Saya senang bisa kembali ke Indonesia. Indonesia memiliki tempat kaos khusus di hati saya. Uh, I also thank my very special uh, thanks to both of you for such a warm welcome and it's been such a wonderful location as here in, in Bali. There are few countries more important to Australia than Indonesia. We are natural partners, not only because we are close neighbours, but because we have shared strategic interests and as Minister Pabolo said, we choose to be friends. This includes an abiding interest in a secure and stable Indo-Pacific region. One that is open, one that is transparent, 
one that is prosperous, and importantly, one that is rules-based. Our bilateral defence relationship is a key pillar of our overarching comprehensive strategic partnership. And our meetings today have reaffirmed that our defence relationship continues to grow from strength to strength. The TNI and the ADF now conduct over 20 bilateral engagements and exercises every year. This year alone, Australia has had over 150 Indonesian students travel to Australia for education and training uh, with the ADF. We also have strategic dialogue and engagement occurring between military and civilian counterparts at all levels. This is the second opportunity that I've already had to meet with Minister Prabowo since we took on our respective roles. And building on our initial discussions at the ASEAN Defence Ministers Meeting Plus recently in Bangkok, today we have discussed ways to continue to expand the depth and also the complexity of our defence relationship. Together with our respective foreign ministers, we've agreed to deepen our cooperation in the areas of peacekeeping, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, and of course, maritime security. Most notably, we've agreed to progress planning for Australia and Indonesia to co-deploy on a United Nations peacekeeping mission. This is a very exciting new chapter of our defence relationship. Indonesia is a top 10 contributing nation to UN peacekeeping operations, and Australia values greatly Indonesia's extensive experience in this area. We've also agreed to enhance information sharing between our defence organisations, particularly in the marine domain. This will help both our nations to better understand the full range of threats and also challenges in our immediate and shared region and also beyond. We've also reaffirmed that regional and multilateral cooperation remains a vital part of our increased maritime bilateral engagements. So in light of this, we've agreed also to explore opportunities for greater trilateral maritime cooperation, including with India. So thank you again, Ibo Redno, and also Bapak Kabolo, for what has been a very warm and a very productive meeting. And I very much look forward to working with both of you uh, throughout my tenure as the Minister for Defence. Uh, Thank you very much, Minister Pena and Minister Reynolds. Thank you very much, uh, colleagues. Okay, that concludes the press statement for today. Terima kasih. Terima kasih, Pak.